Hello, this is Silas here with new Arjuna layout. First step in this project is to tear up the tissue paper and glue it with gel medium. I let it dry and then I apply two coats of gesso to prepare my page and also to push the design of the tissue paper more to the background. I would also like to mention that I'm not filming this video with my usual settings. Actually, I am waiting for new camera to arrive because I cannot use my old camera anymore. And I filmed this video with a camera that is actually not suited for video recording. So I would like to apologize for some technical difficulties such as lightning and also that some parts of the video are missing. To color my page I am using gelatos, uh, first I applied layer of colors and then I blended it using wet baby wipes. Uh, you can build up the color with gelatos quite easily, but in some points it's really hard to achieve more saturation of colors, that's why I like to work with them in layers. As you can see now, I am using gel medium to seal the first layer of gelatos and when it was completely dry, I started to apply more layers of colors. This way you can get really saturated colors if you want. And after I was happy with the result, I again sealed it with gel medium. And as always, list of all supplies used in this video you can find in the description uh, on the YouTube or in my blog. And now I am using quite acrylic paint mixed with water to create some paint spatters on my page, uh, which will represent the stars. As you can see, I draw these simple clouds and now it's time to cut them. And this is the feather stamp by Aladdin and I just uh, chose the small feather and I am stamping it using black archival ink. And this is stamp of cute little girl, it's called Ladybird and it's by Santoro. And again I just stamped it with uh, black archival ink on a piece of paper. And to color both the feathers and also the girl, I will be doing something different today. These are colored pencil called Polychromos uh, and they are by Faber-Castell. I have them for quite long time and as you can see, I haven't used them very much. Uh, but today I would like to show you how can you use them to color your projects and also how to blend them. I will be using only those except for the white pencil and this one is by Derwent. After I applied few layers of colored pencil, it's time to blend them. You can blend colored pencil in few ways. Today I am going to show you how to blend colored pencil using mineral spirit for oil paints. And work basically in layers. I am using odorless mineral spirit by PBO and I just put little bit of it into small container, dip a brush into it, wipe the excess into towel and I am blending the colored pencil with it. And when I'm done with the blending, I just close the container because I never let it open for a longer time than it's necessary. Uh, let it dry completely and then you can apply more colored pencil on top of it. With this technique you can get really nice blended result with colored pencil without need to push really hard on them. If you want to try this technique, just remember few things. 
you need to get enough pigment on the paper in order to work this really nice, so use it after the first few layers of colored pencil. Also, don't let the brush soak with the spirit, a little bit goes a really long way, so I always wipe the excess before I start to blending. And the most important, uh, remember that this is a quiet chemical, not that it would be something dangerous if you use it in the right way, uh, oil painters use it all the time, but uh, for kids or animals it could be very dangerous, so really don't let it open unless you are using it, and also there is no need to breathe this even though this is odorless. When I was happy with the way how the girls looks, I added uh, white gel pen dots that I lost while coloring. And here you can see how the finished girl looks. The same way as before I colored also the feathers. And this is the stencil by Heidi Swap, and I am just using it as a template to draw the stars. And after I cut out those stars, I put a layer of silver glitter glue on them. And I also decorated feathers with those glitters. When all my elements are ready, it's time to put all of them together. Now I am using pitch artist pens to darken the edges of the page. I am using purple and also a little bit of brown color. And I am blending those using wet baby wipe and my fingers.
Before I glued everything to my page using gel medium, I also add dark edge around them. And now I am using modeling paste and this letter stencil to spell the word dream. And because you have to wait till it's dry before you can add another letter, I am just writing the first part with the quote which says be brave enough to dream and I am using white acrylic paints for that. And to stick the feathers and also the stars later, I am using this glue pen. Here you can see how I stencil the rest of the letters. It actually took me quite a lot of time, but I really don't mind because I like how the stenciled letters looks. And now I am just drawing the strings to my feathers as they are hanging from the clouds and for that I am using again my gel pen. Last step of this art journal is to make my clouds more interesting. For that I am using again Pitch Artist Pen to add shadows on those clouds and then I added some texture on them using white acrylic paint. Don't forget to check out all the close up shoots and also photos in the end of the video to see all the little details. And with this, today's page is finished. Thank you so much for your attention. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my next art project. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye!